Thanks to Surfshark VPN for sponsoring this video. More on them later. Robin Williams, the man who danced into our hearts as the lovable alien Mork, captivated us as inspiring John Keating in Dead Poets Society and dazzled us with his voice as the genie of Aladdin, left an indelible mark on entertainment. His passing in August of 2014 was a moment of profound loss for those who found joy and solace in his work. Throughout his career, Williams became synonymous with a brand of humor and humanity that transcended the screen. He could transform from a whimsical nanny and Mrs. Doubtfire to a resilient castaway in the birdcage with seamless grace. His performances were not just acts, they were experiences that invited us to feel, to laugh, and to think. Beyond the veil of fame, Williams was navigating a labyrinth of personal challenges. The end of his journey came too soon, and the circumstances surrounding his departure painted a somber picture of his final days. In this video, we're going to share a few stories from those who knew Williams best, revealing a Robin Williams that many of his fans might not recognize, one shadowed by complexities and personal trials. Rising Fame and Chasing the Dragon the ascent of Robin Williams into the stratosphere of fame was as rapid as it was dazzling. With the launch of Mork and Mindy in 1978, Williams became an overnight sensation, his portrayal of the lovable alien Mork catapulting him into the hearts of viewers across America. The show was a cultural phenomenon, and Williams's unique brand of improvisational comedy and rapid-fire wit made him a household name. But the glare of the spotlight often casts long shadows, and for Williams, the shadow took the form of addiction. In the hedonistic climate of the late 70s and early 80s, cocaine was the drug du jour, a symbol of success as much as a means of escape. For Williams, whose life had become a whirlwind of performances, interviews, and public appearances, cocaine became a sanctuary. He described it as a way to slow down his racing mind, a retreat from the relentless pace of his existence. But the drug took its toll on his health and personal life. A wake-up call from tragedy 1982 marked a critical juncture in his life, a year that forever altered the trajectory of his personal and professional journey. The death of John Belushi, a friend and fellow comedian, struck Williams with the force of thunder. Belushi, a comet in the comedy world, had his life devastatingly cut short by an overdose. Williams, who had been with Belushi just hours before his death, was shaken to his core by the loss. This tragedy coincided with a profound ah, milestone thanks. in Williams' life, the birth of his first child child Zach. The impending fatherhood brought with it a sense of responsibility and a desire for change. Williams was acutely aware that the path he was on could lead to a similar fate as Belushi's if he didn't alter his course. Friends recall Williams' introspection during this period, his determination to be present for his son in a way that the chaos of addiction would never allow. The decision to quit cocaine and alcohol was monumental. Williams likened it to shedding a skin, a painful but necessary transformation. His sobriety was a testament to his strength, a daily recommitment to his health and his family. Friends and colleagues noted the marked change in Williams following his decision. He became more grounded, more present, and his work took on a new depth, reflecting the personal growth he was experiencing. A relapse into old habits Despite over two decades of sobriety, the mid-2000s saw Williams' old habits resurface. The relapse was not played out in the tabloids, though. It was a private struggle. Friends observed a change in Williams during this time, a retreat into old patterns they hoped were left in the past. The pressures of constant performance, the isolation inherent in celebrity, and the personal issues he faced created a perfect storm that led him back to alcohol. His return to drinking was a depressing reminder of the chronic nature of a addiction. It underscored the reality that the journey to recovery is fraught with potential pitfalls, regardless of the time spent sober. The Struggle to Stay Afloat the ongoing battle with addiction that Williams faced was in stark contrast to the joy he brought his audiences. His friends and family saw the duality of his life. On one side, the beloved entertainer who could light up a room with his humor, and on the other, a man who struggled with the private pain that was as much a part of him as the talent. His resilience in the face of addiction was as notable as the characters he brought to life. He did not hide his struggles, but instead spoke openly about them, advocating for treatment and the importance of seeking help. The transparent Transparency was a powerful force, bringing attention to the often overlooked struggles of those in the public eye. A Legacy Beyond Laughter 
Robin Williams' legacy is multifaceted. While he's remembered for his unparalleled comedic talent, his openness about his addiction struggles has left an unforgettable mark. He became a symbol of hope and a source of strength for those facing similar battles. His willingness to share his story helped to demystify addiction, highlighting the importance of compassion and support in the journey towards recovery. Beyond the laughter and the applause was a complex individual who faced his challenges with courage and vulnerability. This video is sponsored by Surfshark VPN. Surfshark VPN is an online privacy tool that keeps your online identity safe from big companies, cyber criminals, and anyone else who might be after your personal information. Our favorite thing about Surfshark is the VPN, or Virtual Private Network, capabilities. Surfshark VPN changes your IP address to give you a new virtual location, which can be practically anywhere in the world. In addition to protecting your location data, this allows you to access content libraries and streaming services from other countries. For example, you can find classic films such as The Shawshank Redemption, Goodwill Hunting, and Goodfellas when you log into Netflix with a Canadian IP address. If you use Surfshark VPN to log in with a UK IP address, you can find hit series like Star Trek Discovery and the US remake of The Office. Beyond unblocking all of this content, Surfshark VPN encrypts all of your online data to keep you safe when browsing the web. If you act now, you can get an exclusive Surfshark Black Friday deal. Enter promo code FAXVERSE to get up to six additional months for free at surfshark.deals/faxverse. Surfshark offers a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk to try it out. Just use the link in the description below to get started. Williams' Private Health Battle Robin Williams faced a challenging battle with a disease that was initially misdiagnosed as Parkinson's disease. It was only after his tragic passing that it was revealed he had been suffering from Lewy body dementia, or LBD, a complex, aggressive, and incurable brain disorder. The condition is characterized by a wide range of symptoms, including problems with thinking, memory, movement, and mood which can lead to significant distress for both the individual and their loved ones. Lewy body dementia is the third most common type of dementia after Alzheimer's disease and vascular dementia. It involves abnormal deposits of a protein called alpha-synuclein in the brain. These deposits, known as Lewy bodies, affect chemicals in the brain and can lead to disruptions in normal brain function. The symptoms of LBD can be particularly challenging because they can closely resemble other more more well-known diseases like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's, leading to misdiagnosis. People with LBD may experience visual hallucinations, changes in alertness and attention, Parkinsonism, and difficulty with complex mental activities. In the case of Robin Williams, his struggle with LBD was compounded by the fact that it was not correctly identified until after an autopsy. During his life, he experienced a range of debilitating symptoms that ultimately affected his work and personal life. His condition led to severe anxiety, depression, and ultimately his untimely death. The story of Robin Williams teaches us the importance of understanding and recognizing the signs of Lewy body dementia. It also emphasizes the need for more research and better diagnostic tools to ensure that people with LBD receive the correct diagnosis and the best possible care to manage their symptoms. Robin Williams' story is a powerful reminder of the human side of celebrity. It's a narrative that has touched on the highs of his comedic genius and the lows of his fight against addiction. His legacy is one that transcends his performances, reaching into the heart of what it means to be human, to struggle, and to persevere. Now it's time to hear from you. What's your favorite memory of Robin Williams? What's your favorite movie of his? Let us know in the comments section below. Thanks again to Surfshark VPN for sponsoring this video. Click the link in the description to learn more.